Looking for a way to stay in the loop with campus happenings? Do you want to share your stories? Or are you interested in learning more about the mass communication field? Well, PGCC's media is here to serve you. From sports coverage and social media postings about upcoming events, to TV programming like British Debaters, Around Prince George's, and Conversations with Charlene Dukes, brought to you by PGCC TV. Radio broadcasts such as Historically Speaking by Radio PGCC and newspaper articles recapping major moments on campus. It's all here for you. Prince George's Community College is providing news you can use, experiences to expand your media skill set, and opportunities to express yourself. No need to stay in the dark when it comes to campus news. Where do you turn for information about PGCC's student life and semester highlights? Check out the OWL newsletter. This student-run newspaper publishes editions each month during the semester, showcasing the variety of events and opportunities available at Prince George's Community College. Pick up a copy in the Largo Student Center or from a newsstand across campus. For mass communication majors and students interested in journalism, the OWL newsletter is a great opportunity to gain experience in media writing. I think it was my third semester here. Um, I was in a journalist class, and one of my articles that I wrote actually made the PGC newspaper. It, it taught me how to um, go out and just talk to people, because as his only child, I didn't really want to talk to anyone. I kind of just wanted to do, do my own thing and not bother anybody, but like when you're doing stuff like this, you have to like um, collab collaborate with a lot of people. So if you want to make it anywhere, you have to collab. So. Reflections Literary Arts Magazine is another print media resource available at PGCC. Centered around a specific theme each semester, students have the chance to express themselves by creating artistic content that is distributed throughout the school. The magazine's editorial staff encourages you to send in poetry, short stories, essays, and photography. Most recently, I created a poem for PGCC. Uh, I submitted it to Reflections Magazine earlier this semester. It was a really great opportunity uh, to creatively express myself, share stories with the college, and then also gain experience as a writer because um, I was able to craft a poem that was featured in a student-run magazine, and I think that's a really great opportunity. Stop by the Student Publications Office, Largo Student Center, room 245 or the Office of Student Engagement and Leadership, Largo Student Center, room 149, to learn more about the OWL newsletter and Reflections Literary Arts magazine. PGCC student-run radio station gives mass communication majors a chance to share stories with fellow students in an online broadcast. This platform is a great way for mass communication students to gain experience working with radio equipment while creating a variety of content for listeners. I am co-host of both a radio show and a podcast at PGCC. Oratory skills, definitely learning how to express myself using my voice, um, being able to bounce off of people with different perspectives in a panel type forum, you know. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, Putting together a show, producing a show, obviously with the podcast, um, audio editing, things like that. Yeah, um, I would definitely um, recommend anyone that has an interest in that field or sees themselves doing something like the, doing something like that in the future, uh, meeting up with PGCC Radio and discussing with those in charge about maybe starting a show. Stay up to date with Campus Sports by tuning into PGCC Sports Nest. On campus, we have championship basketball teams, baseball teams, and soccer teams. So we really wanted to kind of promote that. Um, we really weren't getting that much exposure even though we had these championship teams here on campus and that that really made me want to um, step up our game in order to do some more publicity for these teams. And so I think it's important that the, you know, the student athletes get that exposure, um, that the students in the, in the community actually know about these uh, championship programs that we have here and hopefully the students get some pride uh, of their school that you know hey you know what we have really good teams here they'll come out to a game and they'll actually experience it. Sports Nest is a student-run news broadcast that covers PGCC's different sports teams. Mass communication students capture the action in baseball, basketball, and soccer games through on-camera reporting and videography. They get the direct benefit from working and getting that real-world experience and then if they're good enough 
I end up recommending them for some uh, jobs in the industry. So there are so many um, different venues that are around the DMV area that um, there's enough for everybody to get, get uh, a job. Right now, we've extended our invitation to just Prince George's Community College students, not necessarily just in Mass Comm, but we um, put out the call to anybody who is interested in sports and working with the program. We have a group called uh, the Student Media Group, and anybody who is in that group can be a part of it. Um, we still want to get people who are interested in actually learning this stuff, and most of those people are the Mass Comm students and or they just have an interest in production. So we want those people. We don't necessarily want to have everybody just come in off the street. We want them to be a Prince George's Community College student. So that's that was our main focus, make sure that we educate our students and then they get the opportunity, the first opportunity to be on camera, be a broadcaster, or have their hands on, that hands on um, to the equipment mm -hmm. and, and be able to learn mm -hmm. firsthand from these uh, on calls and from, from our staff. Did you know that PGCC has a full production studio? If you didn't know, you're in good company. Most people don't expect a community college to house a production studio complete with hands-on opportunities for students. Um, when I came in to PG, I did not know that, that they had like a huge TV production studio. I didn't know anything about like the radio shows, I didn't know about podcasting, I didn't know that they had so many... Um, opportunities for students to be so involved. I didn't know we had a, a, you know, a TV production where all of this equipment existed. I didn't know that. PGCC TV is the television station home to Prince George's Community College. This station creates original content that's broadcast throughout Prince George's County. The college's student body can stay connected to PGCC by tuning into its educational programming. It's a 24-hour cable channel that is considered a PEG channel. And PEG stands for Public, Educational, and Government. So these channels are provided to the college as a part of cable company's franchise agreement with the county. So we have access to a channel on Verizon, Fios, channel 44, and we also have a channel on Comcast, channel 75, and we also have an HD channel as well on Comcast. So a lot of the productions that students get to work on here in our studio, they can actually see them air on our channels. So they can share them with uh, their family and friends to see, hey, I worked on that production. Mass communication students gain hands-on experience working with this studio in all the areas of television production. Well, we certainly provide opportunities for students to write scripts. Uh, we provide opportunities for students to research for uh, content related to a production. I just recently produced the college's 60th anniversary video, and I had at least six or eight uh, mass comm students helping me just literally going through all of the archives in the library to find photographs of the college over the last 60 years. So that was a great um, chance for students to learn the research that goes into producing something. Um, students have the opportunity to design graphics for productions. We've worked with students in the visual communications department. Students have opportunities to shoot video. Um, they have opportunities to edit. They have opportunities to direct to record audio, to do voiceovers. We have students that do voiceover announcing for us all the time. Um, and there are also opportunities for students to be talent. Um, we just recorded a young lady for a video um, that we're producing on responsible use of financial aid because research shows that some students take their financial aid and spend it on the wrong things. Instead of tuition and books, they're buying clothes and taking trips. So we're in the process of producing a video now and we asked for a volunteer and the student wanted to do it so we recorded her in front of the green screen, used another mass comp student to help her and now they're going to be featured in this video. So we provide opportunities not just for mass comp students, for drama students, visual communication students, anyone who's interested in some aspect of video production, whether it's in front of the camera or behind the camera. I think the first television class I took was broadcast journalism from Professor Roden and so it was very intimidating at first to be on camera because you know, I was very new to it, so like when the red light came on, I just kind of like froze up. Mm -hmm. So I was like, "Good afternoon. Um, this is PGCC News." I was like, <laughs> like, like, cut, 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 cut. So it took time for me to get comfortable in front of the camera. So that definitely helped me with my experience and learning, you know, how to 
I guess, script writing and editing and all that? Being more confident. Definitely, you need confidence, and you definitely gotta have the mindset of thinking outside the box. Mm -hmm. You can't stay in this particular business and what we're trying to do and how they're geared to, you know, set us up for life. You can't stay like narrow-minded. You have to basically really think outside the box and be open to anything that they throw at you. Um, they taught us, you know, how to properly use a camera, green screens, um, how to interview people. Oh, yeah. My excitement definitely came from uh, interacting with Dr. Williams and Professor Holder um, and working on the switcher and working on graphics and uh, being behind the camera and being on the camera, so yeah. Because I'm in the mass communication um, major, majority of our professors always tells us to get involved because that's part of our major. You know, being involved in speaking out or just being productive. My favorite part is the hands-on. Um, the, the equipment that we work with, every day we learn something new, every day we always um, brainstorm like great ideas and it's, it's just fun, you know? It's super fun, it's super creative. Never did I realize how much time and effort is put to even do a 60 second commercial, you know? So it's it's just, it's pretty, it's, it's fun. It's exciting, I love it. You can also stay in the know by following PGCC on YouTube and social media. Head over to PGCC TV's YouTube page, at PGCC TV, for even more video content about the college. Also, check out PGCC's Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter accounts. These platforms share info about events, guest speakers, construction updates, student success stories, scholarship opportunities, and more. And then the other thing I want to say, we're not just limited to just our cable channel. A lot of what we produce goes directly to YouTube. And the research shows that college students look to YouTube more than they look to television. Young people are not spending $200 a month for a Verizon Fios subscription, but they are turning to YouTube and watching free videos. So all of the content that we produce, not all of it may get to our cable channel, but, but all of it gets uploaded to YouTube. So we are really encouraging students to turn to PGC TV's YouTube channel to see the variety of content that we have. And the large majority of it supports student success. There are videos on how steps to enrollment. There are videos on using your financial aid. There are videos on our diverse male student initiatives groups. Um, there are videos on pathways and how to choose the correct pathway. So there's so much um, content that we produce that, that is available to students, whether they live in the county, whether they have cable or not, they can access it anytime via YouTube on a mobile device or on their desktops. It's important to stay connected to PGCC's media because it's an effective way to stay up to date with what's happening on campus. It offers you information, opportunities, and more. Well, again, you get to learn more about your school, your community. Um, hopefully, if um, our department is doing uh, well, we are informing you more about the programs, more about the events, and the things that are happening on campus. So. Um, I think that's a big part of, uh, of any communications department, to be able to communicate that and to be one with the student body so that we will be able to um, help them get any message across on any kind of event. If you have ideas for media content that you haven't seen here yet, explore them. I would want to do more with radio. I'm not sure how far they could take that, but anything, any little thing builds up and it helps, honestly. Definitely think the media could be improved, you know, and again, like I said before, by students, for students, if that's what you're shooting for, which I think it should be because they're the, 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 main, uh, the main crowd here, and um, I just think more television, film-based media, like uh, you know, something much more visual to appeal to students, I think that helps a lot more than print media. 
it would have to be I guess by the students and it, they would have to be into it like it's not just like oh yeah say one thing and like let that happen it, it had to be something that's constant like there should be like a committee just focused on that kind of like SGA yeah mm -hmm. it's something just focused so that the information gets out there Granny, it's college, but I feel like we actually need to have a platform mm -hmm. here, like how they have sports in us. Do something like it's a everyday good morning PGCC type, you know, platform okay. where we have a morning show and we discuss announcements, uh, club events that's coming up, uh, mass comm events that's coming up, you name it. It's just a platform for all departments to come and basically announce what's going on and tell what's happening in the school. I certainly encourage students to come up with content ideas. I mean, if you have a cell phone, you're a producer. You're creating content every time you post on social media. So use those same skills to develop a concept for a three-minute video or a five-minute video and take the initiative to check out the cameras here in the studio, to do a project on the weekend or to do it as a part of your group projects or independent projects in your classes and then approach us and say, hey, I'd like to put this on the channel. Do you think that you'd be interested in this? Or approach us beforehand and say, I have some ideas for content. What do you think about it? And just take that initiative to produce it. I mean, there are students that we've worked with, especially in our summer youth employment program, that are 14, 15 years old, and they've already monetized their YouTube channels. So they're creating content on their phones, they're editing it on their phones, and they're uploading it right to YouTube. So there's no excuse why students can't do that same thing. So I really encourage students to become producers and to learn all that you can in your classes here at the college. And do exactly what you're doing right now and to produce content that you think um, someone wants to watch and put it on YouTube or to get with us and find out if it would um, be something that we could put on our channel. And you have what you need to get started right in the palm of your hand. So connect, create, and grow with PGCC's media. It's all right here for you.